Dear students, in my earlier classes, I have tried to explain the general characters of phycomycetes and types of asexual reproduction. In this class, I will try to explain the types of sexual reproduction in phycomycetes. Regarding the sexual reproduction, there is a great variation in these fungi. It ranges from isogamous to oogamous through an isogamous type. The species are two types, homothelic species and heterothelic species. In homothelic species, male and female gametes are produced on the same thallus, while in the heterothelic species, male and female gametes are produced on different thallus. Homothelic species are holocarpic type and heterothelic species are eucarpic type. The first step in sexual reproduction is the bringing together, bringing together the male and female nuclei in the same cell. This process is called as plasmogamy. The plasmogamy is carried out in these fungi by three methods. That is plasmogametic copulation, gametangial contact and gametangial copulation. First is planogametic copulation. Planogametic copulation occurs in the members of Pytridiomycetes and Plasmodioforomycetes. Planogametes means the motile gametes. These motile gametes are of two types in, this, in these groups. In case of Pytridiomycetes, the motile gametes are posteriorly flagellated. The type of flagella is whiplash. While in the case of plasmodioforomyces, the motile gametes are biflagellated. Flagella are of whiplash type. One is smaller and another one is larger. The smaller flagella have a blunt tip while the larger one has the sharp pointed tip. Now the planogametic copulation uh, is again different types. First is isoplanogametic copulation. Isoplanogametic copulation means the fusing gametes are motile and they are morphologically similar. The example of isoplanogametic copulation is found in Olpidium and Plasmodiophora. Here, these are the isoplanogametes. They are morphologically very similar. After their fusion, the fusion of isoplanogametes is called as isoplanogametic copulation. After the copulation, they result zygote. Next one is anisoplanogametic copulation. Anisoplanogametic copulation. Here, gametes are copulating gametes are morphologically similar. Only they differ in their size. One is smaller and another one is larger. Smaller gamut is called as microgamut and larger gamut is called as macrogamut. Their fusion, the fusion of microgamut and macrogamut is called as anisogametic copulation. After plasmogamy, they give, will give rise to a zygote. Now the third one is oplanogametic copulation. Oplanogametic copulation occurs in monoblepharidales. Monoblepharis is a member of monoblepharidales. Here, the gametes are produced in highly differentiated sex organs. Male sex organ is called antheridium and female sex organ is called as ugonium. Antheridium produces motile gametes that are called as smurfs. And inside the oogonium, non-motile motile ovum is produced. Therefore, in this case, one gamete is motile and another one is non-motile. Here, in oplanogametic copulation, there is a fusion between the motile sperm and non-motile ovum. Ovum remains inside the oogonium. After the maturation, atheridium produces a number of sperms. These sperm, sperms get entry inside the oogonium through the apical pore. Inside the oogonium, fertilization occurs and 
zygote is formed and then oospore is formed in this way the oplanogametic copulation is the copulation in which there is a fusion of sperm that is motile and oogonium that is not motile so monofluoferidus is the only order in which the in which motile sperms are produced in this way we have seen that planogametic copulation are of three types isoplanogametic copulation and isoplanogametic copulation and oplanogametic copulation now the second type of plasmogamy is gametangial contact in the gametangial contact highly differentiated gametangia are produced male gametangium is called as antheridium and female gametangium is called as oogonium in the gametangial contact the identity of the gametangia never disappears they maintain their identity as in the case of pythium at the time of fertilization oogonium differentiates either one or more x antheridium produces non motile gametes inside the antheridia there are these gametes never released from their gametangia they produce non motile gametes these gametes are never released from the gametangia at the time of fertilization the antheridia come close to the oogonium and produces a slender tube that tube gets entry inside the inside the oogonia through this tube this tube is called as fertilization tube through this fertilization tube the male gamete or the male nucleus gets entry inside the oogonia inside the oogonia fertilization occur still in some other cases in more advanced cases the fertilization is carried out only by the formation of a pore at the point of contact between the antheridium and oogonia in this way the gametangial contact is more advanced type of plasmogamy that is found in phycomycetes fungi